Good morning. Champions League. It's a tough one to unpack, particularly when we've got these kind of matches so early on in the competition. Uh, you don't see this normally, and we don't normally see Thursday Champions League either. Bologna, Shakhtar Donetsk, based on first half stats, Bologna are bossing this, but Shakhtar are gnarly old veterans at this competition. Bologna newbies, and we got a missed penalty in the fourth minute by Shakhtar as well. Second half. This market has been suspended. As is typical, really, when you rely on the first half stats. Second half, not as effective. So I would have laid nil-nil late on, but the second half stats were not very good at all. Emphatic stuff from Celtic. 3-0, 3-1, any other home score? Any other home scores, what you got? Emphatic stuff, spot on by the market. Had that niggle, didn't you, that Dortmund would just be a little better? Well, you could have laid the draw second half, but... When I look at these, I see Derby-style matches throughout. Nothing straightforward or as straightforward as that. Paris Saint-Germain could have arguably laid the draw late on. Uh, I was gone by then, I'm afraid. Eight o'clock. 2 a.m. where I am. So uh, I'd have had to wait to 4, 4 a.m. for that opportunity to lay the late draw. And it was a, an own goal as well. Gazinga. But uh, the... Dominance of Paris Saint-Germain was quite clear, absolutely clear. Could have laid the very, very late draw here. That's the only real opportunities we're going to get in this competition. We're lacking the foundations of form that we have with league football. Again, your hands are tied when odds on favourites deliver and deliver emphatically. Get 2-0 by half-time is what you expect. Similar odds to the Celtic match. Similar scoreline. No coincidence. The market tends to get it. When market gets it right, it gets it right. Betis, uh, comfortable throughout, would be the uh, report card on this one. Could have laid the draw second half, but the opening goal of penalty. Lo Celso, the difference in that particular match. So a bit early in the season, a lot of matches reliant on a lay the draw second half, which I'm reluctant to take in Champions League. New look Champions League matches as well. Got a similar story today. Unique, a Thursday Champions League coupon. Red Star Belgrade against Benfica. Well, subtly, I'd have been favouring Benfica here. Uh, Serbian League just lacks strength in depth. Really, Red Star Belgrade should be caught out this evening. By Leverkusen a final. Well, if this ends nil-nil, uh, I'm going to give up. I'm going to join a uh, Buddhist monastery here. If that ends nil-nil. Atalanta and Arsenal, fascinating fixture. Just got the subtle hint uh, that Arsenal have just moved up a level this season. Arteta's love of the 2-0 scoreline will be key uh, to our success today. You saw that 0-1 against Tottenham. It's something I would expect today if they can keep Atalanta quiet. Atletico Madrid, nice win at the weekend. Leipzig, I think... Uh, Floundering at the weekend, were they? Pre-Champions League, nil-nil. Yeah. Atletico Madrid, very emphatic as well. And they look in good nick. And they look defensively strong as well. Three consecutive clean sheets coming in to the Champions League fixture. And with the Leipzig, teams finding it easy to keep them very quiet. Bochum, Dano and Union Berlin keeping them to one goal in two matches. So any defensively led side like Atletico Madrid could, I think, keep a lid on Leipzig. And uh, arguably for me, if Leipzig score first, they could be gettable. Brest and Sermgratz, two new sides to the Champions League. Relatively new. So this is a, a, a fat-ass guess by the bookies. Simple as that. Monaco and Barca. Uh, Barcelona, lone start to the season has been superb. Where Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid are faltering, dropping points. They are winning, winning emphatically. Started off the season with 2-1 wins. So it does suggest if Monaco score first, Monaco could be vulnerable. Leganes and Atletico Bilbao. I liked the look of Atletico Bilbao at the weekend. They looked to be dominant in their last match against Las Palmas. 2-3 win away from home. 
they'll be delighted with that. Uh, they lost their last away match to Barcelona, an informed Barcelona. Leganes, don't know what to make of them. Uh, they're only winning a friendly and uh, a constant inability to score goals. They've failed to score in three of the last, well, in the last three La Liga matches. So, again, we're looking at shortlisting matches today. I would be certainly looking at goals here. Certainly fine order and uh, by Leverkusen, you might want to uh, look at the first 10 or 15 minutes at nil-nil and then perhaps get it onto over two and a half goals. But you did see at the weekend, over one and a half goals for Leverkusen was 1.55 after 20 minutes and uh, it was 2-1 by half time. So uh, we might not be expecting some good value plays here, but the only way to get something out of this final Leverkusen would be to delay. I would subtly favour Arsenal today. You might want to back nil-nil pre-match. This could be the defensively led Arsenal trying to keep a lid on Atalanta. At their very best, I suppose nil-one, nil-two. I would be favouring Atletico Madrid here based on Leipzig being kept quiet by those two sides. I'd like what I've seen from Barca all season. I've just got a subtle feeling that Benfica are just a little bit too good for Red Star. But you might see a match like the Shakhtar Donetsk one yesterday where you're wrongly favouring one side who deliver uh, consistently throughout the day, keeping their opponent quiet. We could see that for Red Star today. But Benfica arguably should have the better team. Well, Frederica and Alberg might deliver goals. Uh, this is certainly going on the back burner. It's not going to be a prioritised match, but uh, I like Frederick here this season. If they're up for the cup, uh, they might generate some goals for you. They scored uh, second half goals last match to make it a 1-1. So you might want to do some delaying with Fred if you fancy over two and a half goals there. Just looking at some of the other matches. And uh, as you can see, it's dominated by the Champions League this evening. Elfsborg, 1.33 favourites against Norcobbing. A uh, quick look at the standings, and I would look at the research in play if Norcobbing scored first. But we can get a, an idea already now. Uh, this is sixth against 11th. Uh, and a win for the Elf could take the top three. But they have played a game more than Jurgard. So it's important for the Elf to get a win today because they're lagging behind, particularly Jurgard, who they'll be equal on points with with a win. Motivation enough. Helsingborg and Odervolt, no opinion. 2.3 the favourite as well. No opinion. Traps on sport. Odds on against Kayserispor. Turkish Super League will get onto the shortlist, I think. Traps on sport. Well, struggling a little early season just because they've had three consecutive draws, as you can see there. Now that in itself, along with a 1.62 quote, a bit like Crystal Palace the other day, getting that 2-2, scoring two goals for the first time in the Premier League when priced to do so against Leicester. Similar story here. Three draws all season. Uh, not the kind of side you want to be backing. But the market suggests that this could be a redemption match for Trabs on Spore. Kayseri Spore finding themselves in the relegation zone with two draws and a loss. So we've had a 1-1, a 0-0 and a 0-0. So yet to get going this season. Likely to keep their opponents to one goal, Trabs on Spore. So that would certainly go on the watch list at 6 o'clock. So that's it for today. It's a very quiet coupon. It's going to be likely as quiet today as it was yesterday. But there's four more Champions League matches which I deem readable. And hopefully the in-play stats will marry uh, with my arguments. And I'll see you for Traps on Sport early on. Looks a readable match at 5 o'clock in Turkey. Have a great day. Could be a quiet one though today. But we're back to major European football at the weekend. League football at the weekend.